subject, but boys, I'm more than happy for you to watch as long as you spread the word and give support to the ladies in your life. If you wanted two words that were going to guarantee a shudder going up any girl's spine, it's the words smear test. It is not a pleasant thought, it is not a comfortable experience, but it is a vital procedure. Usually most women need their first smear when they are 25 to be repeated every three years as long as everything is happy and healthy. I had my first smear when I was 15 years old because of a cyst that I needed removing and so the doctors wanted to keep an eye on me down there to make sure there were no changes or abnormalities which was uber, uber embarrassing and very uncomfortable because of my age. Um, not many people had seen me without my clothes on and having someone rooting around in my personal areas was really a frightening thought. The worst thing about a smear test, I think, is the embarrassment. Having a stranger or even a family doctor that you've grown up with down there rooting around in your most private personal areas. But compared with the risks of cervical cancer, actually getting a smear test is not that bad. Unfortunately, there are no other ways to screen your cervix for abnormalities, so smear tests are absolutely vital. And if you were unfortunate enough to have the development of cervical cancer until you're in the later stages, there are no symptoms. So it's something that you wouldn't know about until it was much more advanced. Most of you may remember the very tragic story of Jade Goody. If you don't, I would recommend you Google Jade Goody story. She was a very young lady full of life who was tragically taken at a very young age with cervical cancer. So <clears throat> what happens during a smear? Well you go in, you sit with your doctor. If you are uncomfortable having a male doctor do this procedure you can request a female doctor. If there isn't one that works at your local surgery then you can go to a family planning clinic. Otherwise, um, what normally happens if you have a male doctor is there's normally a chaperone, a female nurse or someone, a female there with you to make you feel more comfortable and offer some moral support. So then you are asked to remove your um, garments from the waist down, you're given a gown and you're sent behind a curtain where you can in private get yourself ready. You pop on a bed with a blanket over you and you're asked to put your legs up in the stirrups. So your legs are out like this. Um, and for me always the, the worst bit is the doctor coming in and me saying I'm ready and the doctor comes in and sits down between your legs. But my experience in all the smear tests that I've ever had is that they're really professional, they don't stare, they generally keep their eye line on your eyes or away until the moment where they have to do the smear test. So then they take something called a, a scapulum, a scapula, is something that they use to open you up. And this is normally a little cold, it just feels like pressure, it's not painful, it's just a little bit uncomfortable and the most important thing to do is relax. Okay, so then they open um, you up a little bit and they use a little stick, a uh, swab, which they then rub around the neck of the womb to take a sample of your cervical cells. It's done usually within a minute, a minute and a half. And you're done and you'll get a letter within usually four weeks. I know lots of teenagers now have the HPV jab, which is fantastic. However, this does not mean that you are completely protected. HPV is not the only thing that leads to cervical cancer, so please do continue to go to your GP to have your smear test when you get your letter to remind you about it. If your smear test comes back as positive, then fantastic, everything's normal, you have nothing to worry about. You now just have to wait for the next letter, which will come in about three years' time, to invite you to your next cervical smear. Remember, do go every time those letters come through. It is important. And remind your friends as well that they have to go. If your smear test results come back as abnormal, don't panic. It doesn't mean that you are going to have cancer, it doesn't mean that you're going to die or anything bad like that. It just means there's more investigation that's needed. If you want to know about that investigation and what to expect, then click on this box here and I'll tell you all about a colposcopy investigation. If you have any more questions and I'm more than happy to answer, just email me at anna underscore tyree at yahoo.com. Stay healthy, look after yourselves.